Hey, what's going on guys? Vega here for Serpent X Tech and uh, my AMD rig has been giving me issues. So I just wanna go over a few things. It's not happening right now, but let me just explain. So first off, as you can see, we're mining away. Uh, we got a couple cards here. If you're not familiar with the rig, it's basically a bunch of 5700s, 16600 XT, and then 1590. Now, if we look down here, you could see that we have a card that's disconnected. The card that's disconnected is the 590. What was happening was, for some reason, and I just got a failed share on the 6600 XT, I might have to turn down the memory clock, uh, but basically, anytime I would do something with this GPU, the driver would crash. I even had some blue screens of death. Uh, basically, it, it was something to do with a power failure. So, what I want to talk to you about or share with you is the troubleshooting steps that I'm going through here. So, first things first, I started off with the usual, right? You want to eliminate all suspects and then start adding one by one. Now, this is the buy one slot but this is the buy 16 i always start off with this one first which was the second card then i added this one then i added this one it crashed so i removed it added the azrock challenger added the other power color 5700 xt added the gigabyte and then added the 6600 xt all of it worked until i added the 590 and matter of fact if I, and you got another failed share there, that's because the overclock is too high on the 6600, but if I restart this system right now and add the 590, when we try to load up this AMD Radeon software, it would insta-crash. And then the biggest thing with the 590 is you're supposed to change under advanced settings from graphics to compute. And as soon as I did that, it would restart this AMD Radeon software, but then it would crash or lock up. So something is going on with this card. What I will now do is try a new riser, try a new by one adapter, see how that goes if we continue to crash. If we continue to crash, right now it's hooked up to the ATX power supply. I would try providing power to both the riser and the card via the server power supply. If that still crashes, then it's time to do a teardown because this card is one of my oldest cards that's been running 24 seven nonstop. So maybe it just needs to be refreshed. It does have some dust on the fins. So we might just need to refresh it, but I definitely want to check out the PCB, look at the capacitors, see what's going on. But let me show you what I'm talking about here. We're gonna go ahead and restart the system or shut it down, add the 590 and see if it locks up for you guys right now. Now the, eight, the server power supply is not connected via 24 pin to the motherboard. It's the ATX power supply only. So we're just gonna flip that switch off. Because any of these cards, when you're going to mess with anything or plug it in, if it's connected via the server power supply and I'm trying to do something, I need to turn off that server power supply first. But because this is on the ATX power supply, I'm good to go. So we're gonna turn it back on. And I'll show you what I mean once we get back in the windows of what happens when I try to adjust the 590 in the AMD Radeon tool. One quick note I wanna add is when the 590 is plugged in, system boot times dramatically increase. So something is definitely wrong with recognizing this card or talking to this card or communicating with the card. Not sure what it is, but this is the troubleshooting steps that I'm trying to show you to go through and find out which one of these is the problem child and then how to address it work your way from there to identify like i'm still learning or trying to figure out what is it about this card that's causing this system to crash once we identify that and i can actually fix it if not have to rma this card um, we're just gonna take it out of the system leave everybody else up and running so we can continue to stack them sats and then go from there maybe replace it get a different card so on and so forth. Now this gigabyte card is also a problem child, which is why it's disconnected. But the problem with this one is the memory straps, doing the mem mod, it does not like it. So I need to return it back to stock. But before I can address this one, I'm trying to figure out why all of a sudden this one started going bad. So one problem at a time, problems of an AMD mining rig. So here we go. We're gonna try to load up the AMD Radeon software on desktop now that we're booted in. 
and it's going to take a minute. Or it might crash. The system is very sluggish when the 590 is connected. Now the blue screen of death error told me um, if I kept I forgot the exact error, but it basically told me that it could be like a you know USB device that went to sleep or in, was put in a suspended state. Um, it could be you know you got to go to the hardware uh, center or the hardware section in the control panel. Uh, the power setting, excuse me, and then go in there and make sure that the PCIe device is uh, set to, you know, any sleep features or power saving features is turned off is basically what I'm trying to say here. Uh, advance, let's see if compute's turned on. Compute is turned on. So let's see now if we could start mining and then I have to make a determination after usage how long it takes, does it crash, and when it crashes, what is causing the crash to happen. So, I mean, this is just basic troubleshooting 101, nothing new. Even with computers, you would do the exact same thing, or, well, just regular computers would do the exact thing, same thing. But just to summarize real quick, because this could crash at any time. I just want to talk, go over this one last time before I let you go. So, system was crashing. I don't know why, but when I tried to install or update driver system will crash again then i would have to ddu you always want to do a ddu or display driver uninstaller through safe mode to enter that if you can boot into windows go to start power restart before you hit the restart key hold the shift otherwise on boot up try hitting the f8 key or whatever your your motherboard manufacturer likes um, to enter in troubleshooting mode with blue screen where you can hit troubleshooting, advanced settings, startup settings, and then choose uh, safe mode with networking. Once you have the driver completely uninstalled, try booting up and seeing if it would detect. If it crashes again, now it's time to go ahead and start knocking out one by one. Disconnect all your cards, start with the by 16 slot first, or maybe the first PCIe slot, and then work your way down adding new cards. If you add new cards and the system you know, you, you add a card, you boot up. Is it working? Okay, good. Shut it down. Add a card, boot up. Is it working? Okay, shut down. And you just keep doing that across the line. Something is going on with this 590, and I more than likely will need to tear it down or do a refresh. I got a rejected share already, so we're gonna monitor the situation. Another step, replace the buy one adapter that connects to the motherboard with a new one. Replace the riser with a new one. Replace the USB tr uh, data cable with a new one. Try connecting it to a different power. Power is provided by ATX, so I might switch to server. These are all basic steps that you can do to troubleshoot the system. I hope it helps you out in some form of fashion. Let me know in the comments what you're dealing with, and the community and myself will do our best to help you out. Thank you so much for watching. Please do me a favor on the way out, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and notification bell at the bottom to stay up to date with the channel, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care and I'll catch you in the next one.